Hello, and welcome to BCIB's new application video tutorial. This is a step-by-step -step process to walk you through the new two-step application. This will help individuals get through the process a little more easily and efficiently. The first part of the process is a general application where candidates express interest in employment opportunities. For those with trades experience, you'll be directed to the secondary part of our application. You will receive an email invite to create a BCIB applicant profile. We will show you how to sign up, log in, and complete the application process. Before you start the general application, you will need to have your personal contact information on hand. If you need assistance at any time in the application process, please email us at workforce at bcib.ca or call us directly at 1-888-567-2242. If you have all of your information on hand, please click Start Application. To complete the general application, you will need a personal email address. If you currently do not have an email address, don't worry. Select No under the email address dropdown, then fill out the contact form, and we will be in touch to help you get an email address set up. If you do have an email address, click Yes. The first step in the application process is filling out your personal information. You will need to detail your first and last name, email address, phone number, and residential address. The email address you enter will become your BCIB profile login name in the future. Please input your residential address as it is shown on your community or government issued ID. This is to ensure we apply priority hiring to those that live locally to projects. The residential address helps us to determine what projects are in your local area. After filling out your contact details, the next section you will need to fill out is your trade experience. If you do not currently have trades experience or training, please select no from the trades dropdown. It will then ask what trades you're interested in exploring. There's the option for a primary and secondary trade. Please put your first choice that you're interested in in the primary trade and then a secondary trade option as well. If you would like further clarification, click the green hyperlink for a description. This pop-out window will give you an overview of the trade definitions from the list. If you have trades experience, including Red Seal certifications or other trade certificates, please select yes from the drop-down. Then read through the trade list and select all trades that you have experience in. This may be one trade or multiple trades. We will ask you for details later. Again, please reference the trade descriptions if you are unsure. If you answered yes to having trades, you will be asked to identify more info about each trade. First, you will identify your job classification. If you are unfamiliar with the job classifications, you can click the hyperlink here to read a description of each. Next, you will be asked to identify how many years of experience you have in this specific trade. You will check off these boxes if you have a trade certificate or red seal number and identify the relevant information for each. Finally, if you have any more training licenses, certificates, or trades related training, you can write it into this field here. If you have selected multiple trades, the top headline will identify which trade you are filling the additional information for. This is helpful to make sure that you are entering the correct information in the right field. In this section, please identify how you heard about BCIB. This could be from a social media post, information session, referral from a personal contact or community group, or any other options listed here. If you have selected referral, please give a referral name either of the person or the organization. Next, we ask that you identify if you are working with a support organization to help you find employment opportunities. If you are, please type the name of the organization in this box. Through the Community Benefits Agreement, BCIB provides priority hiring to groups traditionally underrepresented in the trades, including Indigenous peoples, women, people with disabilities, LGBTQ2S+, and other equity groups. A link to the Community Benefits Agreement is located on the top header of the page if you would like more context on equity groups. If you self-identify as being part of one of these equity groups above, you will be considered a priority hire for jobs that are available through BCIB. If you identify as an Indigenous person, please select which group you identify with from the list of Indigenous groups. If you identify as First Nations, there will be a drop-down list populated of communities for you to select from. If the list does not identify your community, you also have the opportunity to select Not Listed. Finally, there are three boxes for you to review and approve. 
you're confirming that all your information you've provided is correct and that BCIB is able to use this information for verification purposes and possibly to match you for further opportunities. If you would like to review our privacy policy, click the link to open it. Finally, you will see a screen confirming that BCIB has received your information. If you're not currently a skilled tradesperson, BCIB will be in contact with you for next steps. At this time, this will be all that you need to do for your application. If you have indicated that you have skilled trade experience, the rest of this tutorial will walk you through the secondary part of the applicant profile. After submitting the general application or your expression of interest for work, BCIB will send you an email with profile login details. If you do not receive this in a timely manner, please check your junk mailbox. Follow the link found in the email to create your password and sign into your BCIB user profile. When you have successfully signed in, you should see three options. My BCIB profile, my BCIB projects, and my BCIB policies. Click on my BCIB profile. Once you have selected My BCIB Profile, you should see your full name in the top left-hand corner of the screen and your email address and contact number just beneath this. Below this is a banner with the titles Personal Information, Trade Information, Work Experience, etc., which refer to the different sections of the online profile you will need to address. Let's begin with your personal information. This page should already reflect the Personal Information tab as default and is marked Step 1. Scroll down and check that your data has been entered correctly and that no changes are required. If changes do need to be made, click the pencil icon on the field that needs changing. This will allow you to edit any field on this page. When you are done, click Save. Moving on to Trade Information. Scroll back to the top of the page and click the tab Trade Information. Your selected trade or trades should be visible on this page. You might have to scroll down to see all of them. Check that these are correct. If you need to add another trade you have experience in, simply scroll up to the trades list, click your selection from the list and click next. You will be asked further questions regarding this trade. Example, whether you have a trade certificate or have your red seal certification. Follow the prompts and then click next when you are done. Then click finish. Repeat this step if you would like to continue adding to your list of trades. Note, you can also view, amend, delete previously recorded trades by clicking one of these three buttons. Now for step three. The next section is on work experience. Click on the work experience tab. This section is very important. You will be asked to provide details of your work history. I encourage you to include your most current employers in your examples. Fill out the company name, your job title, start date, and the end date. If you don't know the exact start and end dates, list your closest estimate. If you are still working, please check off currently employed under end date if this is the case. Then please provide a reference name and their contact details. This can be a professional or personal reference. A professional reference might be someone you have worked for or with in the past, or anyone who knows you from a professional setting. A personal reference may be someone from your community or a friend or family member who has a good sense of who you are personally. Next, you are asked to select a trade that relates to this position. This is very important. From the drop-down box, you should see the list of trades you've recorded as having experience or training in. Select the one that best relates to the position you have just updated. Example, job title, heavy equipment operator. I would select operators as the trade. In this section, you can add multiple trades you have experience in. If the trade relating to the work experience doesn't show up in the dropdown, that means you haven't identified it in the trade section yet. You can go back to the trade section and insert the trade. After you add the trade in the trade section, please refresh the work experience details page so that the dropdown updates. The other option is dedicated for trades we have not listed. For example, if you have worked in a garage or done work around your home that has given you some experience. The next page will return a list of different machinery, roles, and responsibilities that are typically related to this trade. 
select all skills that you have experience in related to the highlighted trade, or if there are other duties that you have performed that did not appear in the list, you can type these out in the free text box at the bottom before clicking next, and then click next. This should now appear in your list of work experience like so. If you would like to add another work experience, click finish and repeat the steps. Step four, click on the certification license tab. This section asks you whether you have a driver's license or any other certificates that you may have related to your trade. Notice the prompts highlighted in light blue advising that no records have yet been input for either question. This is a good way to know whether you have completed a section or not. Follow the prompts for each question, ensuring to click next and then finish after every entry. Step five, click the training information tab. This section captures whether you have an accepted safety certificate. Currently, we accept the CSTS-09, the RSTS, or the Site Ready BC safety training certifications. If you do not have either of the three mentioned certificates, make sure that you select no from the drop-down box and click next. BCIB offers free Site Ready BC training to all skilled applicants. This course provides workers with the core knowledge they need to understand the safety requirements of any construction site in the province. This section also addresses any other additional trades training we have not yet covered. Follow the prompts and provide any other details of training you have acquired throughout your career. Step six is about union information. Click the union information tab to open it. BCIB partners with 19 different skilled trades unions. This page is asking you to identify if you're part of any of these unions or any other union. You are not obligated to provide this information, but you do have the opportunity to do so if you'd like. If you are part of another union outside of the affiliated unions listed, you can select no and manually fill this in. Follow the prompts, then click next when you are finished. Step seven, the final tab is for attachments. This section allows you to upload relevant documentation for your application. This can include digital copies of things like your certificates or tickets. Click on add files and follow the prompts. Remember to check what file formats are acceptable. Once you are confident that each section has been addressed, click the green submit profile button on the top right hand corner of your screen. A checklist will appear highlighting sections of the application that may have been left incomplete. You can return to any of these sections by clicking the X in the top right hand side corner and then you can select from the banner which section you would like to go back to. You can continue making changes until you are satisfied. While your profile is under review, it will be locked for five days, meaning you will not be able to make any changes to information you have previously submitted, but you can add information if you like. Upon completion, click the submit profile button one more time. Click next if you are happy with the information. Three consent statements will appear. Read through each question and check the boxes if you are happy to proceed. Then click next and you should receive the following message. You should also receive an email for reference. If we feel we need any further information from you, someone from our department will be in contact with you. Once you've submitted your application, it will be on hold for five business days. However, after that time, you are welcome to log back into your account and change anything necessary. If you have any questions, you can email workforce at bcib.ca. And if you have any other further questions, you can check out our website at bcib.ca.